Oh my god. Is that ice cream sandwich running on a nook color? No, silly Billy. This is Sanogen 7 mod. It's gingerbread. It's just an ice cream sandwich thing. You freaking idiot. See, watch this. I'm gonna go back to stock. Look at that. Look at it. Stock. Horrific. Horrifically ugly. Let's go back to beautiful. My eyes are burning. Now my eyes are suddenly in heaven. What is this witchcraft? Well, this is the uh, ice cream sandwich theme that I put together here for tablets running the Cyanogen 7 modification. As you can see over here, uh, the clock has been themed uh, to be more in line with the ice cream sandwich look. It's uh, moved to the left hand side and been enlarged like the uh, ladies prefer um, for her pleasure. Uh, soft keys have been modified. Um, notification tray has been modified. Um, just ignore that phone number there. Don't call that person. That wouldn't be good. Uh, let me, uh, well, it's too late now, huh? It's too late now. Uh, the ongoing, uh, I removed the ongoing, uh, little, uh, label and then the notifications label. I thought they were just kind of, uh, unnecessary and just kind of cluttered things up. They were oogle. So, um, Let's see, look at some of the uh, on press effects here. You can see that there, it's all, all nice and bluey. Ice cream sandwich bluey. And uh, take a look at some of these other uh, things that have been themed here. You can see here the uh, these these pop-ups, the module uh, pop-ups here, which I guess they're not really, can't really move them around, so I don't know that they're, whatever. But uh, uh, as you can see here, buttons have been themed. Um, I'm gonna go back and this this will kind of act as a um, as a how-to for some too who are installing this thing. Um, we're gonna go here to uh, settings and uh, Sanogen mod settings, and we're gonna come down here to tablet tweaks, and we're gonna go choose soft buttons, and uh, I had the search there, which I don't really like the search. I need to uh, I want to rethink this. It doesn't. It's not as sexy as it can be, and we do like the sexy, we do need the sexy, but uh, I would say definitely come in here and, you know, uh, remove any of these keys you don't really use, you know, or they don't look as sexy as you want them to look. Um, also, uh, what is it, let's take a look here, under the interface, and I'm going to go here to the notification power widget. Um, what I like to add to uh, here is I like to add the, the play button and the fast forward or the skip forward uh, buttons there for, for easy play of media. So I can just hit here and it's just going to start playing, you know, which I really like. And uh, you can do that here under uh, the widget buttons and, you know, add whatever you want, subtract whatever you don't. And... Uh, so yeah, make sure to check that out. Also, uh, if you installed this theme under the indicator color, make sure to change your indicator color to uh, to this here, and that's the that's this here. You don't want this to be green, you know, those little indicators. Um, and so that uh, one I'm using here, it's hex uh, code FF 00 DDFF, and uh, that works fine for me. So it should work fine for you. Um, let's see, we're going to try to take a look at some other things that have been themed here along with the theme. Uh, let's see, let us, let us go and, uh, oh yeah, that's right, well, I guess this stuff is pretty, uh, pretty trivial or I guess pretty much expected. Um, if I come here, CPU settings, voltage settings, whatever, you can see, you know, that nice blue little guys there and 
they do little home press effects and whatnot. Um, and I guess while I'm in here, make sure to go and donate to Dallengren, because without him, we all be dead. So make sure to do that. And whoever this guy is, wait, hold up, hold up, let's get the hell back in there. Whoever the hell that guy is, I'm not really sure. But donate to him too, why not, you know? And, uh, I mean, give Dallengren all of your money. I mean, all of it. You know, you don't need it. What are you doing with it? Nothing. Give it all to Dallengren, you know? Uh, alright. What else are we going to look at here? That whole, the whole thing threw me off there. This has been themed here. Uh, I'm also working on a theme for the, uh, this is, I'm using Launcher Pro Plus here, but on my, uh, my touchpad I'm using, uh, uh, Go Launcher EX, just because Launcher Pro hasn't been updated in almost like a year now, and uh, it's being left behind. I'm probably going to switch over to uh, probably going to switch over to the um, Go Launcher EX on the Nook too, but I'm just kind of lazy and have to re you know re put all my widgets and reorder everything and all of that. And I'm a very lazy person, so uh, that might take a while for me to, to actually get around to doing. Um, let's open up Astro here. Good old sexy file manager. And, uh, I come down here to my temp folder. And we're just going to act like we're going to install an app. And I'm just going to show you what this looks like here. If I say install, see what the, uh, you've already seen that pop up. Let's see. Let's go try to install an app I don't have installed. I guess I don't have this piece of junk installed. Let's go install. So you can kind of see what this looks like. I modified this to be sexier. And uh, also modified the, um, which I'm going to release a version for phones here uh, shortly. Um, I haven't had much time to work on it. Well, I have, but I'm getting another phone. So once I get that phone, I'll uh, spend more time working on it. But, uh, but as you can see here, uh, Basically, uh, it's not of much use on a tablet, but the um, right now the background here is is uh, transparent, so it'll it'll show through to your uh, whatever your desktop uh, wallpaper is. And uh, obviously, there's no call log in here. But uh, in any case, let's let us spin the wheel here. All right, whatever. So I guess it's just a kind of a quick quick little look-see at this theme, um, and, uh, I guess, you know, you know, have a nice life, and, uh, yeah.